Welcome to the Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Magical Mischief Tour. Today, I think I've got some plans on how we can get some money, as well as perhaps joining a faction. Let's see how far we can get. And yes, that's right. I said I was going to, uh, you know, finish the roof here, and I did. I also kind of decorated it with some of the, the blocks that I've been finding around here. I thought this was just a nice touch by adding some of this stuff, so... I hope you like it. I did. Uh, I, I find it quite nice. And it still has, you know, the, the same entrance as before, which I kind of like uh, being able to, like, climb up and down the vines in here to get up and down. I don't know why. I just I just kind of like it. It's pretty good. Anyway, let, let, let's get into this. So I was taking a look at the different quests that I have here. And we've got, like, the two different bounty boards. Uh, I've got in this one just mob hunting, which actually has been pretty good. Um, slime kills for a penny. I just need to kill one. Forgotten. Well, I, I haven't seen any Elder Guardian. That would be great, uh, but I, I don't have a lot of uh, water breathing yet, so I think we might need to focus on that. Zombie kills and spider kills, just one of each. That's, that's excellent. And these ones are in there quite regularly, getting me a penny each. Uh, and even if I just kill one zombie and one um, uh, spider and they're, they're like the same bounty, it still fills both bounties, and I get double paid. But this one is a siren, and, well, I, I don't like fighting them because they, they kill me. <laughs> Zombie kills and Rottwalker kills, very easy. You, you could see the, the idea here. There's, there's lots of different options. And that has actually been really good for me to get a lot of money so far. It didn't rely on waiting for the different uh, things here to, to get actually into money. So a lot of mob killing is in there. Plus, you can get some better bonuses. But... More importantly, the shepherding decree, on occasion, I'll get something like this, uh, where it will require something to do with, like, wool, whether it be a white bed or orange bed or a banner or just something, and I might get a strange bed in response uh, or as some kind of uh, just reward. And I already did that. Uh, I have it up here. I got a strange bed, and I, I also got some blue wool from it, too. <laughs> I think I had to, like, buy a... I had to trade in a bunch of white banners, and that's what I got was a strange bed. That allows us access to the Goodnight Sleep Mod dimensions. There's two dimensions, you have a 50-50 chance of going to either one. And you can also craft specific beds that will allow you to get into those specific uh, dimensions but only after you've uh, at least gone into one or two of them to get the necessary materials. So that's something that we'll probably do in the future, but just not uh, at this moment, because I, I want the money. And as much as I have, if you notice down here in the bottom left corner, 26 monies is not enough. Um, and it's rather slow, because each night I'm going out and I'm like killing some zombies and stuff like that, and I might get like one to five monies if I'm lucky. Uh, at nighttime. Also, uh, just to make it a little bit simpler so I could make it nighttime uh, that much faster, I'm, I made myself a uh, Comforts hammock uh, over by the campfire here. I figured this was really cool, just like a nice little campfire spot. And you just sleep in there during the daytime and it'll turn it to just before night. Uh, it won't be exactly nighttime, but it does give you a little bit... Uh, it, it does take a lot of the time away from waiting. But I was thinking uh, we could try and work our way towards this. California rolls. Reason, reason for this is uh, if I look in here and I go under sell items, California rolls are in here. And uh, they, they are a meal. There's, there's other meals that you have the options of doing uh, or pursuing. There's also rainbow blocks and uh, different stuff here for air gems and music, specific music discs and so on. But I, I was thinking, well, this is something I might be able to mass produce. If I look at my crockpot book and I look up California rolls, it says it is required to be in the ultimate crockpot, which we're, we're not far from, from getting that. I think we could do that. And it's made from fish, two dried kelp, and it takes 10 seconds to cook. So it, it's fast and it's really easy to do. I, ju I just need fish, kelp, and some time. But most importantly, I need the ultimate crockpot. So in a search for crockpot, you see crockpot pro premium. <laughs> Crockpot Max, Crockpot, yeah, the, the Crockpot Super, they're, they're going to change names. Just know that you need the highest tier one. I do have Heart of the Sea. I don't know that I have Dark Prismarine or Prismarine Bricks, but I have seen some, some critters out in the oceans and seas that I could potentially, uh, you know, fight and, and get these things from. 
Uh, I also noticed that there are some things in here for killing Elder Guardians. That's a 75 minute thing. Might as well take that if we're going to be going into uh, any of the... There we go, Elder Guardian kills. We'll grab that Lantern Wraith. No, Slime kills. No. I think I'll keep these two on me just in case. And what I'm going to try and do to make these California rolls is get those required ingredients. that so we can make those, get some money, and get the trinkets that I want. Uh, specifically, I want the horseshoe because uh, it, it, it's 40 and I can then just do the, the one step block height and I can put on a different pair of shoes. Uh, the ones that I have are just a little too fast. I mean, I am going insane speeds. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to keep these shoes for when I need to go super fast. But wow, got to go fast? Yes, yeah, not not a problem. So what I'm going to do is set a temporary waypoint. I noticed that there are these like underwater areas. And I figure if I head off in this direction, I'll be heading over to the ocean. And I can get some resources, perhaps make myself a sea moth, and do a little exploration underwater. A little bit safer than I normally otherwise would with like a bunch of doors. Um, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to head off in that direction. And a quick note, uh, thank you to those people that have commented and telling me that I only need three items to get a set bonus, and that's why I actually advanced before. Uh, so I, I am now re-wearing my Nemean Lion Lionhide uh, that has all those extra bonuses on it. And my, my gear, by the way, I, I upgraded them to Clog Room and then re-enchanted them all again. <laughs> with all the mobs I've been killing. Re-enchanted everything to its maximum levels uh, for what I wanted on them. And oh my gosh, um, I'm doing huge amounts of damage, especially when I've got a strength 2 uh, monster tartar. Anyway, let's get off and head down to the ocean. So something that you need to fear and respect about the ocean. Oh, look at all these, these free items just kind of laying around out here. Is that um, the, the water itself is fine. I mean, you notice that my, my air is going down a bit, but as you go down lower, it can start going down faster, your oxygen can, because of the pressure that you're going to be under. So you have to be very cautious about that. Uh, you're going to, you're not going to want to, um, uh, you know, stay underwater for too long and don't think that just because it says you have 60 seconds of air that you actually have 60 seconds because that could uh, decrease at any given moment. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going, yeah, I can see it going down now. Let's fly back up. <laughs> there we go. And I'm going to continue going back down and looking for those things that I was just breaking. This is actually part of the, um, the better diving mod. You've got different uh, resources in these little chunks. You don't even need to have any kind of pick or anything. You can just break them with your bare hand and gain the resources from them. And what I'm needing them for is titanium. So I'm going to see if I can find enough titanium for it to be rather useful. Oh, and these naiads, by the way. If you get yourself a diamond DNA extractor, you can get a, a bunch of uh, prismarine crystals and such from them, which would be really useful too. Now this is actually a really good way of getting resources early on since you don't even need to have a high tier pick to get any of this stuff. But you do have to be aware, one, of your, your air, but the other of other predators that may be around in the water. Um, this is actually one of the more friendly ones. <laughs> there are plenty of others out there that might not be that friendly towards you. Okay, I've found something that is rather dangerous. That is going to be a butterfly leviathan. <laughs> now these are tameable creatures, but you really don't want to get on their bad side. Um, they they can shoot lightning attacks at you, and uh, they can also bite you. Yeah, they, they just hurt in general, and you really don't want to get on their bad side. Uh, yep, I think I just got on its bad side. Okay, no, no, let's... Let's move away. No, go away. Go away. Bad. Okay. Now, I did just eat a, um, I've got strength two going on with that sword. Yeah, and it was within my close range, so I was doing extra damage. <laughs> Dang. Okay, usually they're not quite so easy to, uh, to kill, but still, they, they can be a bit painful, uh, if you're not prepared for it. So not bad, doing a bunch of swimming around, grabbing just all the things I could possibly find. I got at least 11 diamonds, which is pretty good. And then 21 titanium, which is actually what I was looking for. Use for this is, well, you smelt it up in either a blasting furnace or a regular one, get your ingots. 
then you use them to make your different wetsuit options. Now, of course, there's also power cells and things like that that you can make, which I will be getting into as well. But for now, I think just getting myself uh, some better way of breathing underwater for longer term is probably going to be a good idea. All right, so ultimately I want this uh, rebreather that has a maximum diving depth of 60 meters as opposed to, you know, the 40 meter or even the uh, the regular diving mask. I mean, if you want some heavy duty uh, armor, then go for this blue set here. I'm going for the orange set because it's got a lot of different uh, beneficial abilities. Plus I can just go deeper with it, uh, or at least with this rebreather, and I, it'll last longer with the, uh, the oxygen that it gives me. So to make these, if you look at one of the advanced recipes, it requires the simpler recipe as well. So let's start with fiber mesh, which is made with a bunch of kelp. Simple enough. Bam, I've got a bunch of fiber mesh. Making the regular diving mask, standard O2 tank, wetsuit leggings, and fins. Then doing the same recipe with the rebreather, making it even more effective. The high capacity O2 tank and the improved wetsuit leggings, as well as the Ultra Glide fins. I have a little bit of leftover resources, but I think I'm going to store these away. All right, so let's head underwater, and I have 90 seconds of air normally. So let's take this off, put on the new set, watch my air increase. Ooh, at least 135 seconds. Nice, and it won't drop down substantially anymore when I go down into the deeper depths. Uh, also, I think I move even faster with the Ultra Glide fins underwater. Uh, I mine faster underwater, and I uh, am just all around better. Plus, uh, yeah, I've, I've got my wings and my whoopee cushion, so, you know, I'm good to go. There we go. I now am a bit enchanted up. Uh, I think I might even be able to breathe even better underwater now. I guess we'll find out as I go out there. Now, will I be making a Seamoth today? No, I don't think so. Uh, I will probably be doing that another day because that'll require me getting a little bit into immersive engineering. Right now, I just want to be able to, well, better explore underwater environments uh, without fear. Yeah, look at that oxygen. It's even higher than it was before. Without worrying as much about my oxygen levels. And I can swim and mine faster as well. It's really good. And this is like, is this... There's like, oh, there's, there's actually air in here. I didn't, I didn't even expect that. Okay, well, I feel kind of silly now, but let's continue on. Aha, this one's got loot chests in it. All right, what do we got? Uh, actually, I don't have any warp fungus, so I might as well take that and some of the gold. I'm, I'm slowly dismantling this entire place because every time I swing, I break a piece of glass uh, if it's within my reach to do so. <laughs> and with all the looting effects on the, these weapons, it's been quite effective. Um, but I'm not seeing a lot of really good stuff in here. And in fact, I'm not even seeing any of the, uh, the, the different materials I was hoping to get, which is like the, uh, the shards or the prismarine crystals and stuff like that. So what I think I might do is, uh, go exploring and look for a underwater temple and see if I can find something there. Cause there wasn't really too much at this little location that I was able to find short of a bunch of these, uh, guys here with the different axes in mind. So looking around on the map, I was able to find way up here a water temple that I'm going to be going towards and exploring. It is a bit of a, a ways off, though. Let's see. There's home. And actually, that's not that bad because I've got a lot of speed going on right now. Well, with all the speed buffs that I currently have going on, this was a relatively short trip to get here. And I'm going to have to enter in quickly to get stuff. Uh, I do have these with some time left on them, 38 minutes. So now I just need to find where the uh, guardians are and take them out as quick as possible. Oh, I found sponge. That's encouraging, but I can't mine any of that until I kill the bosses. I may have mining fatigue 3, but it's still not enough to slow me down. <laughs> All right, let's eat some monster tartar and see how quick of work we can make of this guy. All right. Not a problem at all. Oh my gosh. Slaying the elders of the mountains. And I also got a bunch of those uh, ingredients. But for now, I think I'm going to take some of the things that I need here, which is some of those, some of these. Ah, there we go. And just for an added breather so I don't need to worry about it again, pop down a door, continue on trying to find the other elders. Because I need to kill two 
for my bounties to actually come true. But I, I think I might actually be able to just mine my way there. Yeah, that would appear so. Let me uh, make myself an opening and let's get this going. Not a problem at all. Yeah, this added mining speed has really made a big difference with uh, kind of going in here and just getting the loot that I want or need in that matter. Because I was just able to just come in and take it without even worrying about the uh, the mining fatigue affecting me. Hello, I see the last one is here. Let's take you out as well. Grab the loot and head on out. There you go, my new trophy, as I am wearing it on my head. It's a little bit large. I feel like maybe, may, maybe it's a bit much. I mean, well, gosh, what do you, what do you guys think? Is, is it a little bit much? <laughs> All right, let's uh, take this thing. Did I actually get it? No, it, it fell in. All right, well, I'm going to grab this and make the new crock pot pro plus expert edition 5000 supreme extra and there we go i now have the crock pot pro max Ma uh, premium <laughs> all right so one unit of fishes and exactly two dried kelp well the problem with this is that all the fish also have a meats on there so i guess we find out if i put two of these and it says two dried kelp uh does this help Yep, that works. One California roll. Excellent. All right, well then, in that case, I'm going to put half these in here. And, heck, let's split this in half for now. And that should get us going with making some of these California rolls. And each one of these, while it is also a good meal, is also worth a penny. And that's money in the bank. One funny thing, I guess tropical fish don't have meat. They are just fishes. <laughs> All right, and there we go, 24 California rolls. Let's see about trying to sell these items. We're going to do this. And pow. Okay, I now have 50. Oh my gosh, that's that's really cool. <laughs> and I just need to harvest fish now, and I can get that. That is so good. So I actually want this now, but I only want one of them. I don't want 24, so let's let's just get one of those. Of course, they have to be in my wallet as well. I took the money out thinking I didn't need to. You know what? Let's purchase Bigfoot as well just because I'm, I'm a sucker for gimmicks. Uh, let, let's put this wallet back in place. I now have some new trinkets that I can try out. Bigfoot. And I just hit numpad number five and I can switch this out. I don't really care about the bones. Let's remove that. And the lunch bag. Um, I don't really care about the saturation buff. So we're going to do... Bigfoot, so now baby mobs, most of them should run away from me, and horseshoe, which means I can now walk up stuff without these shoes on, and I can take these off and not worry about, like, going quite so far. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I do have step assist without the shoes, and that means I can take my kitty slippers or even my flippers, which, funny enough, I should have been wearing those when I was underwater. But by putting on the kitty slippers, one, I, I now meow while I'm being attacked. But more importantly, um, <laughs> creepers come by, they, they won't blow up. They, they just go the other direction. And I see a Medusa over here. In case you haven't seen any of these before, you don't really want to look at them too much. Oh gosh, because that will happen and you need to turn around. And then you might have a brief moment to do an attack. I think she actually died from, yep, she did. She died from the bleeding. <laughs> nice. And of course, silly me, I forgot I still have my common bounties from killing those uh, Elder Guardians. So let's uh, turn those in, get four more coins. Nice. Ah, uh, good to be back to my uh, magic-y self again. I feel a little bit better protected, even though the, the previous setup was actually really, really good. Uh, let's take a look at advancing into the next tier. That's right. Uh, so th this should be a bit of fun. That's right, I'm going for Wizard's Ritual, or the Wizard's Council. Uh, some of you really wanted me to go with some, some other options, but the majority of you ended up choosing this one. And I can't say I blame you. It's uh, pretty darn cool, and it, it looks interesting to me for what I'm, I'm going for. Uh, I was very tempted by the, the undead, which if you don't know, you basically become unkillable and you turn into a mist when you die. But your mana is uh, dependent upon killing things and 
yeah, it makes for a much more difficult playthrough. But hey, you know what? Sometimes that's what you want to focus on. So what I need here is this, Ritual of the Wizard, Wizard's Council, which I don't exactly have a setup area for this. Uh, and I need a moat of magic, so I'm going to need one of those as well. So first let me get this, then I'll set up a just just a bare bones area for this. It's going to require a couple spell books. Books, emeralds, should be pretty basic. And then I think I walk in there and uh, they either accept me or kill me. And there we go. One moat of magic. All right, and here we go. The Wizard's Council Ritual, I believe. Everything is in place. I just kind of set it out here in the open. Hopefully the, the council doesn't mind. I mean, we'll find out. Lovely. Okay. I kind of like how they all just like kind of moved a little bit to the side there when they realized they were off center. Real professional entrance. Hello. Um, how's it going, my dudes? Uh, I guess I just walk into the center here. I hope that they don't fireball me. That would really be regrettable. Whoa. Okay. That's cool. That's a simple levitation spell. I, I, I could do this. But I appreciate it nonetheless. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting blessed. Uh, thank you. You feel the presence of hundreds of wizards current and past, their knowledge and power shared with you. You have allied yourself with the Council of Ancients. You've advanced to Tier 3. Cool. Which usually that it tells me I need to like sleep when that happens. Let's see what it says. Nope. I am just there. I am I am tier three. <laughs> oh look, I've already found another fortress. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be all sorts of stuff I'm gonna need to uh check out for, for future me. I might uh start exploring some of the new spells and stuff like that. Um just ignore those waypoints behind me. Nobody needs to see those. There we go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, come visit us on Twitch. Don't be afraid to click the notification bell. Excuse me. And uh yeah, if if you're really enjoying this, uh, I I've been having a, a blast. I've got some big plans for the future episodes for exploring. Uh, especially if we get ourselves some new spells and stuff, which I think I might do so uh, in preparation for the next episode, because I think we've, we're going to have a really, really uh, big explore uh, for next time. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time.